Ten jumps it up for Southeastern against Zay Williams for Troy. And the black-clad Southeastern Lions look like this on offense with Hinton and Claire Joe, Ryan Burkhardt, Joe Kasperzak, and Gus Okafor. This is Kasperzak on the outside. And finding Hinton with a quick dribble handoff to Claire Joe. A lot of ball movement here. They're weaving on the outside to Kasperzak. Now key on Claire Joe, a step back jumper nicely done. And they'll try to find some isolations like that, and they're very aggressive on the press. They get a steal right away on Troy's inbound pass. Asper Zach has his pass batted to the side, chased down by Claire Joe. Duke Dean for Troy, guards Casper Zach, works the baseline, layup, climbs the rim, and a quick 4 0 start for Southeastern. Well, they'll press, you'll see, after uh, uh, throughout the game, certainly after every made bucket. And uh, boy, you saw some speed there from Casper Zach. He got a nice opening lane and quickly Southeastern Louisiana off to a good start. For Troy, a turnover quickly. Gus Okafor gets the miscue, feeds the left side. Claire Joe probes the baseline. Casper Zach goes right side. Burkhardt can shoot the three, misses. Diving inside, Okafor can't save it in, and it's Troy's basketball. Second possession for the Trojans down 4 0. Here's what Troy's starting lineup looks like Zay Williams, Desmond Williams, no relation in the starting lineup. Duke Dean is a little point guard. Effie Odigi down low with Nate Shamanga, a big freshman. Pressure up court for Southeastern. Desmond Williams with the headband. Dean against Casper Zach. Ball screen, keeps his dribble. Fires a chest pass, Zay Williams through a double team. Fall away jumper off the front of the rim. Burkhardt rebounds for the Lions. Claire Joe over Desmond Williams, who fouls him right in front of the Trojan bench. In a bad angle from Desmond Williams. That time went right into the shooter. And you see what these lines like to do. They like to try to find some openings in transition. They're not looking necessarily to set up that half court offense. If they can find an isolation in transition, that's what they'll go with. And they'll shoot upwards of 23 pointers in a game. They average 84 points per game on offense. Keon Claire Joe, a senior from Winter Haven, Florida, hits the first. He's got an early three points. They average 10 and a half threes made per game, so they will get them in the air. Claire Joe spends a lot of time at the free throw line. Last year, fourth in the NCAA, he shot 192 free throws last year, and he was fourth in the NCAA. He made 155 of them, so a lot of his points, and here's their leading returning scorer, come from right there. Now he tries for the trifecta. Off the three-point foul. This one rattles off two out of three. Nate Shimonga rebounds for Troy. ODG at midcourt. Running the floor, ODG. Jump hook, and the Trojans are on the board. Well, that's a matchup problem down low. If they can get ODG the ball on the low block there, he's going to have a mismatch almost every time. Troy, man to man on the outside. Okafor looking for a dribble handoff. He's in trouble. Finally gets it to midcourt, Claire Joe. 12 to shoot for the Lions. Right side, Okafor, a ball fake. Better shot with six on the clock, no good. Rebound knifing through, saved by Kasperzak. Reverse layup too strong, but there is Okafor on the weak side off the glass. Six point lead for uh, Southeastern Louisiana. Shimonga, nice spin move and got the wow. layup. Boy, he moves well for a guy 6'10". You see that along the baseline, just a 360 spin move to get it up with the left hand. Okafor came to the baseline to cut him off, and they spun away. Now Okafor is signaling he needs to come out of the game. They'll go to the bench. Okafor takes a jumper way short. Rebounded by Duke Dean. Baseball pass ahead, trying to beat that up court. Press, there's Shane Williams over Jalen Hinton. Wow. Boy, that's a good communication between the Williams there. Desmond to Zay, just a look and uh, communicated well. And Troy gets to within two and out of force. Stampley and Duke Miles in the game for Troy. Jerry, that's significant for the Trojans. Yeah, I haven't had Miles uh, available for a while. Uh, he's going to be a key component for this Troy offense. Kasper Zach, a step back three, barely grazes iron. Caldwell trying to keep it in, lost it off the back of the backboard. Miles has such a good basketball IQ, second-year freshman, playing in only his third game. Not expecting him to play a ton of minutes. 
but he's a difference maker when he's in there for Troy. He handles it now briefly. Keeper punter, by the way, in the game. A 6-5 junior from the Bronx. Dump down, goes to Odigi, jump hook, and way strong. Burkhart ahead to Kasperzak. Now Caldwell, the lane to the bucket. Feed inside Hinton. Gets it in over Stampley. First bucket for Hinton and a nice assist for Caldwell. Troy a little late getting back in full transition, and they ended up getting numbers for the lines and made the extra pass and got the easy bucket. That's a nice job in transition. Man-to-man -man defensively for the Lions. Miles Shimanga, who can play a wing at 6 feet 10, works against Burkhardt. Stampley open from three, way off the mark, and air ball and out of bounds. Now for the first time, Effie Odigi is out. When we come back, we'll see Rifen Miguel in for Troy. Southeastern Louisiana, good start. Up by... Head coach David Kiefer in his third year, former Southeastern Louisiana assistant, a lot of experience in JUCO coaching at Northwest Florida State, Jones County, also on the staff at South Carolina prior to getting the job here at Southeastern Louisiana. Has a lot of new players off a of club last year, had a good year. In the game, John Darius Warren, a junior point guard. Along with Hinton, Clear Joe, Burkhardt, and Caldwell. Here's Clear Joe. Inside. Oh, that's a good shovel feed. Hinton has his second bucket in close. Good movement without the basketball. Twice Hinton has gotten himself open for an easy flush. Six-point lead. Miles to the bucket. Kicks it away to Stampley. A triple. Too strong. Rebounds his miss. A little mid-range jumper. That short. Rebound battle is off. I believe of uh, Nick Caldwell. Stays with Troy on the baseline left. Khalil Waters, a senior in the game, receives the inbound to fellow captain punter. Now here's Captain Stampley. They don't guard him, and he takes it right to the rack. Nice look by Stampley. He had taken a couple of outside shots. The lane opened for him there, and he wisely put it on the floor and took it to the rack, and Troy will press out of the made bucket here. Miles at the spearhead against Claire Joe. Again, Claire Joe likes to draw contact. He gets to the free throw line all the time. Got to be careful in how you defend him. Burkhardt, good from outside. Claire Joe finds an open baseline for Caldwell. Shovel pass this time. The Trojans covered up. That's Duke Miles. Steel goes to Waters. Step through. No. Tap, no. Battle for the rebound. Loose on the floor. Punter grabs for it. And uh, Southeastern Louisiana's Caldwell able to tie him up at the possession favors Troy. Boy. There is no room for the faint of heart in the paint. These two teams really getting after that loose ball. 20 on the shot clock. As Miles inbounds to Miguel. Now Waters the left-hander. Very deliberate here. This is Miguel who's shooting really well so far. Waiting for the double team. Spins inside. Can't finish against Hinton. Nice move. Uh, spinning to his right. Just couldn't get it to fall. Cross court to John Darius Warren against Ponter. Can't handle his dribble. Out of bounds to Troy. You'll see a lot of those because of just the uh, this pace that Southeastern Louisiana likes to play in. You'll see miscues, but surprisingly for a club that plays such high tempo, they don't turn it over a lot. 14 is a little bit less than average, at least at that tempo. They share the ball well, too, averaging almost 18 assists a game. We've seen a couple of those already here early in the first half. Punter on the wing left. Here's Duke Miles against Joe Kasperzak. Off of the screen by Miguel. 14 to shoot for Waters. They've got the mismatch with Kasperzak if they can get it to Miguel. Against Miguel. Here comes the double team. Kicks it across with six to Waters. He tries to create inside. No. Rebound by Stampley and a new shot clock for the Trojans. They'll lay off of him. Entry pass nicely done. Miguel can't finish around the bucket again. Stampley gets the basketball, and he's fouled. 
That's a sheer hustle by Nick Stampley, who just kept that ball alive long enough to get an open look and draws the foul. Miguel's mad at himself because he was right there. Get a look at it here. You just see the miss by Miguel, but look at Stampley looking for an opening, gets it, draws the foul there from uh, Roger McFarland. McFarland just in the game, his first. Nick Stampley, preseason third team all Sunbelt Conference, the only nominee for the Trojans. With the and one, no. McFarland rebounds, a 6'5 redshirt freshman from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Casper Zach takes it to the bucket. Well, Nicely done over Christian Turner. He's smooth. Casper Zick, a junior, did a little hitch in the uh, drive there, opened up the lane for him, and he burst through it for the layup. Duke Dean, Duke Miles, both point guards, share the same first name, both on the floor right now. Ball faked by Waters. This is Christian Turner, second-year freshman from Texas. Spins inside, leaves it with Miles, a triple on the way in and out. Rebound battle is won by John Darius Warren. Again, pushing it up for Casper Zach. Lost it, rolling off of a Trojan leg and out of bounds into the Troy bench. Stampley comes out. Met by head coach Scott Cross. I'm sure some appreciation for his hustle and some coaching to go along with it. In his place, Zay Williams. On the floor, it's Williams and Waters, Dean, Miguel, and Turner. Caldwell hung up by Turner, coming out to get him hard. Finds Warren. Ten on the shot clock, Warren against Duke Dean. Into the lane, left-handed layup, too strong. High over the cylinder, Zay Williams. Trojans want to run, Zay goes right baseline to Miles. Open look for Waters, doesn't take it, finds Dean. Miles in the lane, Texas Shade. Finding to go in tough a little bit against the line. Boy, and that is a long, long three-pointer for Duke Dean, his first points. Troy's leading scorer this year. Both teams were 0 for 3 uh, in from the three-point range before Dean dropped that one from way outside the circle. Troy going out to defend. Zay Williams reached on the bounce pass to Okafor. Troy trying to match and exceed the defensive intensity of southeastern Louisiana. Each team has two team fouls. Caldwell is out. In is Roger McFarland again with Claire Joe, Orkafor, Casper Zach, and Jalen Hinton. Casper Zach looking for somebody to come to the ball. Instead, this is Hinton from the backcourt. Casper Zach is out of New Haven, Connecticut, a 6'3 junior, making his third straight start this year. Claire Joe lofts it to Okafor with six. Now with four, moves on Dean from three, and it's an air ball. Good job by Troy there to run him off the three-point line. They ran out of time. Okafor had to force one up and didn't get anything. That's good perimeter defense there from the Trojans. Christian Turner on the floor for Troy with Duke Miles, Duke Dean, Zay Williams. Nate Shimanga has checked back in. They find Shimanga on the left low blocks. Faces up against Hinton. Dean open from the wing, too strong. Weak side rebound, and a foul call. Did Williams go over the back? That's what they're going to call. Yep. Two quick fouls on Zay Williams will likely get him a seat on the bench. It does. Here comes Nick Stampley. David Kiefer from the southeastern bench will summon out Burkhart, the three-point shooter, and McFarland goes to the bench. Not a hard press here, but Troy will show full court pressure. Southeastern leading by one. Kasperzek to Claire Joe. Bodied hard. Look at Dean, little guy, but he can be physical on the ball. Burkhart weaving it to Kasperzek, 10 on the shot clock. Against Christian Turner, keeps his dribble, spins in, lost his... Uh, Balance for a moment, still got the shot to the glass, didn't fall. Shimanga goes to Miles. Turner turns down the three. Dean curls off of a screen. Miles, and that's going to be an offensive foul as 
Kasper Zek got to the spot. Trojans have not led yet and can't get a shot on goal in this possession. Desmond Williams is in. Miles goes to the bench. First action for Duke Miles since the FAU game where he was terrific. That was a little bit less than two weeks ago. They haven't run the lineup much where you have Miles and Dean in at the same time, and Coach Carl's got a chance to see them work together in the uh, backcourt for some extended minutes. Halfway through the opening half, there's going to be a carrying call on Claire Joe. Claire Joe got his hand under the basketball on the dribble. That's usually created by good one-on-one -on -one defense, and I think Dean really was just smothering him there. He turned it over to try to get around him. Duke Dean's a leading scorer for Troy, 12 and a half points a ball game. He's just 5'8", 160, but he is a tough nut. Desmond Williams, mid-range. Shimonga high off the glass. Battle for the rebound, and it's taken by Okafor in full flight. Doesn't have numbers. But he finds Claire Joe with an open shot from three. It rolls out. Okafor again limping. He may have to come out again. One point lead for the visitors. Yeah, Caldwell's going to come in for the Lions. Okafor's going to have to go sit down again. Turner looks for a cutter. Backs into Okafor. That's a nice little bit of footwork to hook it home. Just used his size to his advantage. That broke a two-plus minute drought for the Trojans. Southeastern has turned it over four times in the last six minutes. They haven't scored in four minutes. Kasper Zach, offensive foul. That's Turner down on the blocks, holding his spot just outside the arc. Uh, Kasper Zach creates some shots, but he got over a little overcharge there. Turner was there in good position. Turner comes out after taking the charge. FEODG is on the floor now for Troy, the big junior from Houston. They'll have a, a matchup advantage with him if they can find him. Hinton at 6'6", trying to guard 6'9", ODG on the blocks. There's a nice ball screen for Desmond Williams. Chimanga, reverse layup. It's off the top of the backboard and over. It hits the back of the shot clock. Southeastern's got it back. Check out the Troy press here. They stay off the inbounder, Jalen Hinton, and overplay the floor on the floor. John Darius Warren out of Corinth, Mississippi, through the Troy press. Baseball pass, Claire Joe, quick draw, got it. Wow. That is a quick draw. You're right. He got that one up in the air in a hurry. 30% three point shooter. Preseason first team all Southland. Two point lead for the visitors. Williams off of a screen. That's Desmond Williams. Shimonga hooks a pass down low to Odigi. Ball fake. Yes. That's the matchup they want. If they can find Odigi down there with this lineup in for southeastern Louisiana, they'll have some opportunities. Baseline Caldwell attacks Odigi. Looks inside, not expecting the pass was Hinton the other way, a scoop for Desmond Williams in transition. Well, that's just a nice job slipping past the defender who had squared up. He just slipped past him and got the spin off the glass. This is Warren to the baseline, three. Burkhardt rattles out, no. Caldwell fighting for it and keeping it alive. Good hustle there. Caldwell had a chance at three, turns it down. Keeper from the uh, bench was saying, shoot it. They are a volume shooting club. I'm on Sunday to Western Michigan down in Fort Myers. So they've had a bit of a break. They're back in action this coming Saturday at Southern University. Troy, a Wednesday win at home here, lopsided over Rust College. They're on the road next Saturday. A little bit of a break for finals for both clubs. A little teardrop, no good. Fighting for it. It is DeWarren who keeps it alive. Hinton can't close it out. Now he's trapped on the sideline, cutting through Caldwell against ODG. Nice. Nice movement without the basketball by Caldwell. They do a good job of that, finding an open lane. 
Caldwell, a sophomore, had a couple of double doubles last year. Off of Odigi's screen is Waters. Even up at 19, Desmond Williams. High post, ODG looks for a backdoor cut. They cover up Stampley, so instead it's Williams off the front iron from long distance. Warren uses a screen to get past Dean. Claire Joe, bad pass. Boy, he threw it right to Waters. Sets up Dean for a three over Caldwell front, no. Tap no good, ODG gets his miss. Her jump hook, got it. That's hard work for ODG. Well, they got the look they wanted, a wide open look from Dean, but ODG just tapped that off the glass to keep it alive until he can control it and get the bucket. Jeffy averaging 11 a game, second on the club, 11 points per game, 11.3, two point lead for Troy. Warren, quick handoff back from Caldwell against Desmond Williams, Caldwell, a jumper, good. That's a two with a foot on the line. Nick Caldwell has played well off the bench here early. His minutes have been extended because Okafor was banged up. And now Claire Joe draws a backcourt charge. That's Duke Dean. Trying to get him off of the screen. And Claire Joe went under the screen. Dean didn't scrub him off far enough. We'll get our first look now at the seven foot two inch Max Brackman. Freshman comes in to play the low post. And yeah, Brackman's not a, not a guy who plays a lot of minutes. He's from Luna in Germany. But he is imposing. Clergio is instructing. And where to wipe. Goodness. Surely there's there's not that much more left, right? I think they've got it like they like <laughs> it now. I imagine. I imagine so. 20 to shoot for Southeastern Louisiana with the lead on the line. Burkhart. I'm gonna look inside the circle to Caldwell. Now here's Claire Joe, bodied hard by, call, by uh, Stampley. Now Caldwell against Desmond Williams with three. Now Warren has got to shoot from way downtown at the shot clock horn. No good. Rebound, Odigi. It's Duke Miles back in the game. Odigi can shoot from out there. Brockman's right on him. There's a backdoor cut to Waters, and it's flicked away. Nicely done by John Darius Warren. Yeah, just a little hot off the hand of Odigi. Didn't have to be that uh, firm of a pass. Burkhardt can shoot from three, misses wide. Odigi clears a quick outlet, goes to Miles. Stampley in forecourt, they leave him alone. They leave Desmond Williams alone, and that's not usually a good idea. Back irons it, long rebound, chase down by Troy. It was working the perimeter, another outside shot's gonna go up. Odigi's getting it done underneath. Against Brockman, kicks it out to the top. Nine to shoot for Desmond Williams. Cut off on the baseline by Warren with six. Miles with four amongst the tall guys. Wow. Gets it up over the seven to defend it. Not sure how he found an opening at all there. That's a very athletic move by Duke Miles with the shot clock winding down. Second year freshman out of Lee High School in Montgomery. Only his third game of the year because of the injury, the lower body injury. Flergio spot up. That's a jumper just inside of the arc to the right of the lane. Keon Clairejo can shoot the basketball. He's got nine now. He is three of four in field goals. 23 all. Miles on the give and go, on the screen and roll. That's Desmond Williams, a triple. Left side. His first three-pointer, fifth point overall, second field goal. Troy up by three. Largest lead, incidentally, for the Trojans to this point. It's been a very good uh, game, particularly on the each defensive end. Both teams very active in the half-court defense. Burkhart against Waters, dribbled on the base. Troy has shot 10 from the arc. Southeastern has shot eight, and neither team has shot it especially well. Turnovers have been a factor for the Lions. They've turned it over eight times to four for the Trojans again. Indicative, uh, indicative of the kind of defense that both teams are working on here. They're very active 
No open pass anywhere. Left side, open triple try for Waters, no. Claire Joe steps by Miles wow. nicely. Nice move by Claire Joe, just a quick ankle breaking step and he's in double figures. Miles was set up to take the charge and Claire Joe just shifted at the last moment to knife right by him. Troy up one. Waters attacks against the tall trees. The 7-1 German may have altered that one, but Troy keeps possession, tends to shoot. Miles mid lane, feeds down low. That's Rifen Miguel off the assist from Miles. It's great vision. Miguel's had some good looks down there. He had a little problem finishing early, but he finished over the big man that time. This is Ryan Burkhardt at 6-7. Matthew Strange in the game. Against Desmond Williams overplaying. Now Claire Joe. Williams will switch and guard him. Here comes Brockman. Claire Joe steps back. Got the bucket and the foul. Goodness gracious. Rife and Miguel came out, and there was contact. Didn't bother key on Claire Joe. Goodness, what a shot. That's well, just an excellent look under severe pressure. There was contact. Call was the correct one. We'll get a look at it here. You see Miguel comes out strong, but again, the angle not good. Claire Joe step here. back, yeah. It is a two-point shot. So he'll get the end one. You saw his foot clearly in front of the line on the replay. Misses on the free throw attempt. He does get to the line a lot. Troy by one with possession. Playing four out, one in right now with Miguel shooting across the post. And Troy misplaying it on the perimeter. Bobbled by Desmond Williams, and he just couldn't corral it. And Dean will come in and replace Des Williams, and we'll get that look again for a few minutes of Duke Dean and Duke Miles in at the same time. Here's a big possession for Southeastern. They've made their last three shots. Casper has been on a bench a little while now. He's got fresh legs. He'll come in and try to energize the lines here over the last minute and a half. Caldwell, Jalen Hinton against Miguel, goes up against him hard, and wow. he gets it to fall. A lead for Southeastern. Hinton's third field goal. And that came up against a guy three inches taller. Cutting inside, Shimonga. And he's fouled on the floor. It's Caldwell with the personal. Miguel comes out for Troy with a minute to go. It's gonna be a floor foul, so he will not shoot. Six team foul against Troy, so they're not over the limit. Miles and Dean, Shimonga, Turner, and Stampley. Out there for the Trojans. Weaving Dean over Strange, way short. 16 second difference in the shot clock and the game clock for Southeastern Louisiana, Kasperzek. Against Dean, and there's gonna be contact. Kasperzek's a heady ball player. Yeah. That's a, uh, that's a move to draw contact. You, you need to guard him close, but you can't get close to him uh, as Dean was there, a little too close and out of position when Kasperzik made the move to the left. He's shown the ability to go left and right off the dribble with equal effectiveness. Kasperzik, he can score the basketball, averaging a little bit less than eight points a game, hits the front end. Last year, he sprung for 25 in a game against McNeese. And he's a 75% free throw shooter. Shimonga rebounds the miss on the second. And releases to Duke Miles. Cody Dean, by the way, Duke Dean is out of the game. Williams has re-entered. 
That was his second foul. Coach Cross doesn't want him to pick up another one here with just a few seconds left in the half. Miles separates against Kasperzak. Jumper got it. That's a three for Duke Miles, and that's big. Troy back in front by one. Ten seconds to go in a really good first half. Clairejo, baseline, strange, partially blocked by Shimanga, and that'll result in free throws. Troy's got to clean that up. Uh, that's the third time they have fouled a shooter just because of taking a bad angle. You want to get a hand in those shooters' face, challenge those threes, but you can't make contact. And Strange went down hard. Strange is 5'11", Shimanga is 6'10", and went right into him. To tie it up, got it. Strange's first point. Now the lead. And here's his third. And he got all three. So Strange will sit. John Darius Warren in. Troy's going to have to hustle down two with three seconds to go. Miles can run here with one. A little scoop at the putt. See them get to the free throw line. They only shot one in the first half and they missed it. Southeastern with the lead in the basketball. Kasperzik. Against Dean, Elaine kicks it out. Nice catch by Burkhart. And he'll throw it wide. Claire Joe trying to save it in. Does so to Caldwell. Kasper Zach a three over ODG. Weak side rebound comes to Troy. Desmond Williams. Troy looks to run in transition here, and they will lob it down to ODG right away. Oh, I like that. Didn't finish, though. It cannot close it out. It was a good look. He'll make most of those, but couldn't get that one to fall. Kasper Zach. Dumps it inside Jalen Hinton against Zay Williams, who rejects. Clejo kicks it. Casper Zach, an open three. No, rebound to Zay Williams. Shimanga hit the deck. Troy playing four on five right now. Here comes Shimanga with the basketball. Desmond Williams from the baseline, way off the mark. A minute in, neither team has scored. Caldwell, long range, it was online but short. Well, both teams are getting some open looks, just can't get anything to fall early. Duke Dean, Williams, down, down to want. ODG, yep. That's two trips. And you can see there's a conscious effort to find him along the block. Twice they've isolated him and got the ball to him in good shape. Tied up. Desmond Williams out on the floor to guard Clergio. Burkhardt, Caldwell, now Clergio against Williams. Caldwell the baseline, triple yes. Kid can shoot. Nick Caldwell's got seven. Came in averaging five a game. He has played well on both ends. Nate Shimanga, the freshman from Montreal. Against a zone from southeastern Louisiana. ODG again, down low against Hinton. Double team, right-handed hook, got it. Wanted the contact, but they didn't see anything. He's in double figures, he's got 10. Touches on every possession for Troy. Yep, there you no question. That's one of the halftime adjustments made by Coach Cross. Caldwell shoots from the elbow. Rebound comes off of ODG to Zay Williams. Duke Dean, eyes cast ahead, lost his footing. Loose on the floor, Casper Zach the other way. Clergio against Zay Williams, no, and there's a tap by Caldwell. Well, it looked like he might have had a little basket interference, but he gets away with it. Nice job crashing the board there from Nick Caldwell, who has five quick points out of the locker room. He's got seven points, now nine in the game. Troy down three. Williams, he's had good success shooting from three-point range, but that one's too strong. They came in shooting 60%, 12 of 20 before that miss. Jalen Hinton, a senior from Boston. 
A D2 transfer out of Florida Southern. 20 to shoot, step back, Casper Zach way short. Caldwell hustling for it, but he can't save it in. Ahead, Desmond Williams scoops it into Zay, way up good, and he's fouled. Well, that's nice athleticism there, and a good feed by Desmond Williams. Got him in good shape, had his back to the bucket, laid it up and in, and drew the foul. Second foul on Casper Zek. Turner is in as ODG sits down. Zay Williams is at the free throw line. For the first time, we see the birthday boy, TK Smith is in the game for Troy. All points so far for the Trojans here in this half have come in the paint from the post, guys. Kasper Zek is out, and in is the junior guard, John Darius Warren. Williams can tie here, a 63% shooter, and he got it. Now Troy will exert some pressure in the backcourt. Warren against Duke Dean, big screen from Hinton. Man-to-man -man defense for Troy. Warren off a switch against Zay Williams, waving it to Claire Joe. Lob down low, defended nicely. T.K. Smith tried to get it into Hinton. T.K. is a scorer, has it for a moment. Troy reverses it along the arc. Dribble handoff to Smith. He'll take the three, got it. TK's had a tough start shooting the basketball. Junior out of Memphis came in just two of 12. That's a confidence boost for him and a lead for Troy. Well, Troy will keep trying to get him into the flow of the offense because they know he can score. Burkhardt, good shooter from outside. That was online, but Trojans have hit four of their last five shots, Jerry, except for the triple for T.K. Smith. They've all been in close. Yeah, 6-0 run over the last minute for the Trojans to regain the lead. Duke Miles, T.K. Smith, Christian Turner, Kiefer Punter, and Zay Williams are on the court for Troy. Miles, this is Zay, trying to set himself up for that hook. Instead, Punter, a three, front iron, no, rebounded by Smith. And he'll fire it back out. Troy will try a better shot. Miles, pass knocked away. Well done by Warren. He'll chase it down, and he'll take it up court, and we'll go to the free throw line. A rare turnover by Duke Miles. That's really good anticipation, really good defense by John Darius Warren, a junior from Corinth, Mississippi. Well, they're very active, they get the hands up. Miles tapping his chest and that one's on me, but it's more on Warren and his uh, quickness. Two shots for John Darius Warren. He's only shot free throws four times this year and he's made three. Averages two points a game and hits the first. Zay Williams takes a breather for Troy. Nick Stampley comes back in. For the Lions, it's Warren and Kasperzek, along with Jalen Hinton, Keon Clairjo. And the shooter here actually is Roger McFarland. McFarland gets the free throws, my mistake. So it's McFarland rather than Warren. 41-40 Troy. Here's Miles negotiating his way into the lane. Boy, that's a good ball fake. Cannot get it to drop. Kasper Zach rebounds. Right side, McFarlane, uh, Claire Joe. This is McFarlane into the lane against Punter, who may have gotten a hand on it. Loose off of Punter's fingertips and out of bounds. Troy wanted a foul in the backcourt, an offensive foul. They didn't get it. Kasper Zach kind of initiated some contact against Miles. No call. 17 to, have let him go. 17 to shoot. Keon Clairjo against Miles. Clairjo hung up out there. Warren at 6-7 has a hard time. They're going to say it went off of Turner. That's why he's able to reestablish the dribble and a three-pointer for Roger McFarland. Back in front, southeastern Louisiana. 
Miles in the lane, kicks it out. Stampley thought about a three instead, takes it to the lane and puts the shot up, blocked away. And the Trojans keep it with 12 to shoot. Nice help side defense there from Hinton to swat it away and Troy blessed to save a possession here because they were really out of sync. Hinton leads the Southland Conference in blocks. That's his 17th this year already. 12 to shoot for Nick Stampley. Now T.K. Smith. Turner faces up. Five to shoot for T.K. Going to have to be creative. Now lost it. Kasper Zek got a hand on it. One on one versus Miles. Steps by him. And will get credit for the bucket on the goal 10 for T.K. Smith. That's excellent work on both ends of the court for Joe Kasperzek, the 6'3 junior from New Haven, Connecticut. Tough stretch here now for Troy. They haven't scored in the last two minutes, 21 seconds, and they look out of sync on both ends of the floor. Right now it's the Lions dictating the pace of this game. Punter, Miles, double team comes, and he throws it away. Tried to find Turner, another turnover inside. Clergio has it blocked out of bounds. Clergio hits the deck, no whistle. Nice trailing block by Duke Dean there to get the ball and not commit the foul. 13-09, second half. Southeastern Louisiana led by two at the break. They've outscored by true two or Troy by two here in the second half. Kasper Zek looks in, lobs along to Roger McFarlane. Stampley defends on an angle dribble. John Darius Warren. McFarlane a three, got it. He's coming with a hot hand now. That's eight straight points for McFarland. Averages six and a half a ball game. Loads of potential. Kasperzek gets a hand on the pass and gets the run out. And Troy is going to have to call the timeout. Kasperzek is wreaking havoc on the defensive end, and McFarland is providing the scoring punch. Timeout here. Southeastern Louisiana, their largest lead is nine. Southeastern Louisiana with their most impressive stretch of the game has scored 12 in a row, Jerry. How have they done it? Well, they've done it with a aggressive defensive pressure. They've gotten uh, Troy either making some lazy passes or not meeting their passes. You can't do that against a team that averages 10 steals per game. They have eight already in this one. Scott Cross couldn't wait for the under 12 media timeout. He had to call the timeout, get some new personnel in. Williams, that's Desmond Williams, along with Dean, Stampley, Waters, ODG. ODG, jump hook, tough angle, and Hinton rebounds. For Southeastern Louisiana, McFarland has been a real find here. Kasperzak defensively has been good. Hinton, along with Claire Joe and Warren, there's a steal. Here comes Williams weaving through. Dean. Into the lane, layup blocked away. Hinton got another one, his second. The other way, McFarland lost it down low, kicks it for a double bouncer to Warren. Warren, fall away, no. Rebound, ODG. Again, the pace favoring the Lions right now. Didn't get a bucket there. Troy's got to stop the bleeding now. The drought has reached four minutes. Here's Desmond Williams off of Kasperzek. Stampley at the top. Lobs too strong for ODG. And we go to the under 12 timeout here. Troy still looking for points. That 12-0 run holds at 11.31 to go at Southeastern, 50-41 at Troy. Barry McKnight, Jerry Miller. Southeastern Louisiana, 50 to 41 over Troy, 11.31 to go. The Trojans haven't scored in over four minutes, Jerry. Yeah, they're over their last five, and Barry, they've missed opportunities because they've turned it over five times in the last four minutes that matches that scoring drought. So they've missed five opportunities to even get a shot up. 
Kasper Zach has it knocked away. That's aggressive defense by Des Williams. Dean misses the shot. Des fights inside, and there's going to be a foul. This is Claire Joe. First foul on Keon Claire Joe. And if the Trojans are going to come back, they need some aggressive defense like this. Now look at the backcourt, uh, the miss by Miles, but look at Desmond just kept his uh, possession alive. Nice spin move inside of Kasperzik, and he got uh, Claire Joe to come over to the top and foul him. Desmond got the possession for Troy on the very aggressive defense on Kasperzik. Two free throws for the youngster Adam Montgomery, way short on the first. Hasn't been to the line a lot. Troy as a team hasn't shot a ton of free throws. Now only one of three now with the fourth opportunity coming to Desmond Williams. Williams, a third year sophomore, has started now eight of nine games this year, and he gets one of two. Only Troy's 10th point of the half. Dean cuts off Kasperzak on the sideline. John Darius Warren. They may take a little air out of the basketball. Yeah, a little, more, a little more deliberate in this possession for a team that likes to get up a shot as quick as possible. Claire Joe dumps it down low. Hinton, no, but a foul against Troy. This Khalil Waters, I think. No, 23 rather than 13. This is FEO DG. And that sends Jalen Hinton to the free throw line. He is a good shooter from there, 82%. He's a good shooter from anywhere. 57% from the floor this year, 82% from the line. His first point of the second half. Hinton, 6'6", senior from Boston, was a two-time Southern States Athletic Conference Defensive Player of the Year for the Moccasins of Florida Southern out of D2. Lead is now 10, largest lead of the evening. Nearing the midway point of the second half. Southeastern looking for their first win against a Division I opponent this year. Inside shovel from Odigi goes to Zay Williams. He's hung up down there, got an angle, got the way up, got the foul. Good patience by Zay Williams. Uh, early in his career, he would have just kicked that one back out. Here, he stays with it and is rewarded with an end one opportunity. I didn't know that he wasn't pinned down down there, but he found a way to get the shot up and the foul is against Warren. Trying to help down there, his second personal foul, and he'll sit down. Nick Caldwell comes back in. He's had a good game so far, nine points for the Lions. Apparently Okafor is injured for them. We haven't seen him at all here in the second half. Free throw, good. Christian Turner is in for Effie Odigi. Troy will press down seven now. Claire Joe against Dean. Couple of quick players to say the least. Yeah, Okafor is probably their best all around player. And he's unavailable. Let's see what Southeastern Louisiana has in the tank down the stretch. They've certainly got help off the bench from Caldwell and McFarland. Seven to shoot. Caldwell down low, mishandled it for a moment against Zay Williams. Hooks it into Hinton nicely. Caldwell never panicked. Hinton's in double figures. Waters cut off, baseline McFarland. Zane Williams shows the ball against Caldwell. Williams on the baseline, dribbled right on the baseline and turned it over. But Scott Cross gonna get Duke Miles back in the game. They need his floor presence. He's in for Williams. Boy, Southeastern comes in three and five. A three-game losing streak. Their three wins have all come against non-Division I opponents so far. And they're just trying to get a foothold this season. Later on this month, in mid-December, Southeastern has a three-game stretch back-to-back-to-back, -to -back -to -back, Jerry, at Louisville, at Iowa State, at Iowa, all within eight days. Wow. How about that? 
on the road. Troy presses on the sideline out of bounds. And Joe hooks around Miles. They're going to call a foul on Duke Miles. Clear Joe got the arm around Miles, but they're going to call Duke, and that's his third. Said they got him with the body. We could see with his hands raised, but contact with the body. Joe Kasperzik. Angled dribble left side. Dribble hand off to McFarlane. Lost it, but right to Clergio. Dumps it down low. Hinton's able to get the ball in. Contort himself. 11-point lead for the visitors. 9.22 left. Dean has been quiet today. Just the one three-pointer. He wants it, and he'll take it. And he got it. That's a much needed bucket us here in the second half. Had 13 in the first half, but some other guys have picked up the slack. You know, Claire Joe's going to handle it a lot with that propensity to get to the line. Hinton takes it up court himself at six foot six against Duke Miles and leaves it with Keon Claire Joe. Inside of nine minutes, Kasper Zach baseline steps back against Williams and cross courts it to Caldwell. Inside of 10 seconds to shoot. They may get clear Joe to create. Knives into the lane against the zone. Layup too strong. Right to Hinton. He'll put it up and a foul. Hinton snuck in against the taller guys. 6'9", Zay Williams. And 6'9", Effie Odingi. And 6'6", Jalen Hinton draws the foul. That's number three on Zay Williams. Second Troy player with three fouls. Miles got his third earlier. Hinton, as we mentioned, good free throw shooter, but his first one falls out. Bottom of your screen, David Kiefer, the head coach, sees his club playing maybe their best stretch of basketball to this point this year, certainly against a D1 opponent. 13 for Hinton. Game high score. Nine-point deficit for Troy. The dump down to Odigi. Misses the hook shot. Gets the miss. Puts it up. Blocked by Caldwell. And Caldwell commits the personal foul. It's good aggressive work by Odigi off the glass. Had the first shot blocked. Had the second shot blocked as well, but contact sends him to the line. Odigi at 72% from the line. He is the only Trojan in double figures in scoring. And the Trojans need points with a shot with the clock off for sure. Eight and a half minutes left. Troy down nine. Now eight. Matthew Strange is in as McFarland takes a break after some well-played minutes. Strange, you'll remember, hit those late free throws in the first half to give Southeastern the lead. Dean defends against Casper. That knocked it away. Hinton's right there, though. Troy settles back into the zone. Backdoor cut against the zone. Claire Joe misses the shot. Well defended by Odigi. Got the rebound. Had it knocked out of. Tallest man on the floor is Nick Caldwell at 6'7 for the black clad Southeastern Louisiana Lions. Right side. Strange, a three pointer. Yes. Wow. The baby faced assassin. That's strange. He's got six points. 11 point deficit for Troy. Long range jump hook. Zay Williams from 14. He and Odigi are in double figures. And there's Miles with a hand on the basketball against Kasper Zach. Kasper Zach to the rack, reverse layup, and they keep scoring. Well, he can create shots. Looked uh, totally disjointed there, but at the end, gets the uh, layup with the backhand, and they just create shots out of nothing. Williams, got to stay patient. Got to take a good shot for sure. T.K. Smith is a nice hook pass inside Odigi. With the ball fake and a lay-in. That play was made by T.K. Smith. 
Well, he's finding some rhythm offensively now, particularly with Zay Williams and FEODG, but got to get stops on this end to be able to overcome this deficit. Claire Joe. Strange guarded by a man nearly a foot taller, Zay Williams. Claire Joe against TK Smith. Jumper got it. Boy, they're scoring. His first bucket of the second half, by the way. 11 point game. Miles, a clear lane to the bucket and the finger. Traded baskets here during this sequence. Troy needs a stop or two. They've been scoring themselves, but yeah, Southeastern Louisiana is not giving Troy any glimmer of opportunity here. Yeah, the Trojans have found a little scoring rhythm. What they can't do is get the stop. Southeastern Louisiana continues to score. Strain steps back, guarded by Miles. There is Caldwell, misses the layup. Troy comes back. Dean to the baseline. Smith with a big three pointer. No, rebounded. ODG got it. That's the sequence that Troy needs for sure, and the sequence that Southeastern needs to avoid. Got the stop, so they get an extra possession. They're able to convert it to, to a score. Now. You're back in a manageable situation, but that's going to be the fourth foul on Duke Miles. Duke Miles has played average minutes. He hasn't played a lot, but that's his third foul of the second half. And fourth foul overall here comes Desmond Williams to defend. Seven point game. Both teams have five fouls. Casper Zach a triple, yes. Casper's X got 14. He averages seven a game. Boy, David Kiefer, the head coach at Southeastern Louisiana, is coaching himself up into a sweat. Boy, he's working hard over there. ODG, hook again. Well, that's the matchup for Troy. They can get points on that end with ODG in the paint. Got to find some stops, though, and got to get multiple stops. Casper Zach got numbers, three on two. Caldwell had a shot. Instead, he'll weave inside, leave it with Strange. A wide three is an air ball. This team's not built to milk the clock, are they? Yeah, they are there to shoot it. Strange sits. Back in is McFarland, who had the hot hand early in the half. Strange got him a really big bucket while he was in. On the floor defensively for Southeastern, Casper, Zach, and Hinton, Claire, Joe, McFarlane, and Caldwell for Troy on offense. Zay Williams and Dean, along with ODG, and he's fouled down low. Hinton trying to fend him off the blocks. Well, Hinton, Hinton is down there also. Let me collect it as well, but Keon Claire, Joe on the floor for Southeastern. Hinton's their best option to try to guard ODG down low, and that's still a mismatch. That's his first personal, by the way. 20 to shoot, Zane Williams hands it back off to Dean for a three. Front iron, no, ODG has a hand on the rebound, taken away by Claire Joe. Southeastern gets a very, very important possession up eight. Taking some time off, very patient. Short corner left, Hinton against Desmond Williams, that's a size mismatch. Inside, McFarland has it blocked. Tries again, hits the deck. Boy, T.K. Smith got a block. Troy couldn't grab it. it and McFarland goes to the line. Smith ultimately commits the foul and sends him to the line. Big free throws for Roger McFarland, a 6'5 red shirt freshman out of Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Averaging six and a half a ball game. These his, will be his third and fourth free throws, not only of the game, but right. of the season. Took his very first free throws of the year earlier and made both. He's got two here. Each team has six fouls team-wise. And he'll get another. Khalil Waters takes over for T.K. Smith in the Troy lineup. Waters with some experience. A sixth-year guy out of Douglasville, Georgia. One of two for McFarland. He's got nine, and the lead is nine.
Desmond Williams the ball settles into his hands. Screen by ODG. They come out to defend. Baseline Zay Williams. Ball fake. Ball fake again. A little leaner. Rolls and falls. Williams has got 12. A 10 in the half. He's been an answer for him. Seven-point lead, and they throw it up. Each team has six fouls. Yeah, both teams will shoot free throws with a, a foul. Troy needs to be patient, get a good shot, but they have to have some urgency. Here's Waters blocked by Hinton. Waters got it back. Tough move, Khalil Waters. Well, that's a senior guy there getting a big bucket for the Trojans behind that uh, turnover. Miles got a hand on the inbounds pass, batted it out of bounds. Sideline out of bounds now for Southeastern Louisiana. In this circumstance, a lot of times teams have a special sidelines out of bounds play here, especially from the corner. Out is McFarlane, in is John Darius Warren for Southeastern. Troy will not guard him. They'll try to deny the ball everywhere else. Inbounds to Hinton. Warren sprints across midcourt. Zay Williams cuts him off in attack court. Players Joe claps for the basketball. Head coach David Keeper holds a fist aloft. They're running a play off the ball handler down low. That's an offensive foul. Got the hook, I believe, Jerry. What do yeah, you think? That's what they're going to call on Okafor, hooking the defender. Got a nice pass down uh, low. Uh, that was Claire Joe, not uh, uh, instead number four that got the hook. He made a nice pass, but he got clear because he hooked Duke Miles to get open. Troy with an opportunity, now down five. Boy, this is a significant trip for the Troy Trojans. Oh, it's a big trip. They got the stop now. They need to, to try to get this to a single possession. Duke Miles in the lane, gives it away. Left side triple for Zay Williams. No, and, and Caldwell clears. Zay has been good. You 6'9 post player, but he had been a 64% free throw shooter coming in. Defending the sidelines, Khalil Waters is whistled for the foul, and as Jerry points out, that'll mean free throws. It may come down to that. Yeah, if they make their free throws, it's going to be hard to make up five points with free throws pending. Casper's X a 75% shooter from the line. He's had a good night. Misses the front end, and the Trojans get it. Interestingly, they don't put anybody on the line, so Troy easily claims that miss. Miles, coast to coast, dump down goes to Zay against a double team, jump hook, blocked by Hinton again, got another one inside. This is, but uh, they have uh, tempered his scoring a little bit. John Darius Warren finds Casper Zach in four court, weaving through. They don't want a quick shot here. They want to burn some clock. Troy not going to foul. Yeah, they're going to try to ISO somebody and. If they don't get a bucket, get a trip to the free throw line. That's what they're looking for. Warren right now, one-on-one -on -one versus Waters. There's the screen from Hinton with 10. Casper Zach gets it to the top. Caldwell with eight against Zay Williams. Dumps it right side. Nope, that'll be an offensive foul. Caldwell passed it and then went into Khalil Waters. After the ball left his hand, that is a mistake for Nick Caldwell, foul number three. Just got a little too deep before he kicked it out. Couldn't stop his momentum. Waters right there to draw a huge uh, charge. Won't be free throws behind that because it's player control. But the big thing for Troy is it gets the stop. And now Bucket gets him to within two or three, gets him to within one. Again, playing without Duke Dean, their leading scorer down the stretch. ODG finds Miles, a three. Got it, Troy within one. Oh, that's a big play, Duke Miles. Well, that is huge. Nice inside outlook there from ODG out to Duke Miles, who has 10 points now with that three. And the deficit is one for Troy. Now it changes uh, both the strategies. There, Joe, baseline, Miles fires to Kasper Zach. A little scoop shot, Wild tapped out long to Kasper Zach, and he'll miss. You're going to have to get some defensive stops, and Troy has been able to do just that. Again, without Duke Dean, the leading scorer on the floor, Troy is battling back. Here's Waters. Miles has been terrific. They want ODG. Got it. Short corner, skips it across to water, still plenty of time. They'll reset and look for ODG again, I would expect. Miles, double teamed out there, somebody's open. It may be Desmond Williams with eight. Backs it away against Claire Joe with six now for Miles. He'll take a three over. 
Casper Zach no rebound comes to Zay Williams a jump ball and as we pointed out possession arrow belongs to Troy that's a good job by Zay Williams coming way out to get a piece of that rebound Casper Zick continues to hustle man he's a he's a guy that his motor runs hot all the time yeah we, we saw that we had heard that scouting report about Casper Zach he is a uh, he is an all-in kind of guy, and he'll compete every step. So here we are, a 20-second shot clock, 58 seconds to go. Desmond Williams with the sidelines out of bounds play right in front of us, and they'll be able to run a set play and take a good shot here, Jerry. Yeah, they get 20 seconds added back to the clock, so plenty of time to run the offensive play they want to run. ODG back to Desmond. Big Effie ODG. They're overplaying the wings. There's a backdoor to Miles. Miles shovels it inside the waters, and he'll get fouled. That's a beautiful backdoor. They were overplaying the wings, Jerry, and Duke cut to the bucket. Well, we could see it right in front of us. ODG with the eyebrow just motioned uh, Duke to the lane, and he found the uh, found the guard on the cut, and then the extra pass. You'll get a look at it. I don't know if you can see o you can't see ODG's eyes, but he uh, called for that move. And then the extra pass to Waters gets a good free throw shooter to the line. Waters led the league in free throw shooting last year, and he misses the first. This one would tie with 46 seconds to go. The broadcaster's curse. I said it just as he was releasing it. McFarlane with the foul, by the way. Waters to tie. Got it. Waters has three points. We're even at 68. They'll go defensive substitution now, take ODG out of the game, give him a rest. They'll bring him back on an offensive possession. Three minutes ago, Troy was down nine. Now it's 68-68. Claire Jo can get the three to shoot for the Lions. Casper Zick finds Burkhart, who's been quiet, one of the starters. And here's Claire Jo. Yeah, no, no surprise here. 30 seconds off the, the switch. Mismatch. Turner at 6-7 over Claire Joe. No, there to slam at home. That is a phenomenal play by Nick Caldwell. Well, that is a huge play. Just great length with that left hand went over to the top of everybody and slammed it home. Two-point lead for Southeastern. Troy trying to tie. Here's Desmond for the lead. Way off the mark. Rebound taken by Burkhart with 10. Now Claire Joe fouled in the backcourt. Eight seconds to go. Keon Clairejo has a chance to ice this game for Southeastern. Another look at the play by Caldwell. Play of the game so far. Just you see him coming right down the middle, reaches out with that left hand over Zay Williams and slams it home all in one motion. Eight seconds left. ODG does come back in. Boy, Williams had a great look at a three for the lead. And he's an excellent three-point shooter. Front end, got it. So this was a big one coming up right here. Chance to make it a two-possession game if he can drop this one in. Scott Cross brings in some shooters. Duke Dean is in. TK Smith is in. If he hits this free throw, that would just about do it for Southeastern. If he misses, Troy's got time to run a set play to get a three. If he makes it, Troy's got to score quickly. Big one coming up for the senior out of Winter Haven, Florida. And he got it. We figured it would come down to Claire Joe. He missed the shot earlier. And Nick Caldwell, a sophomore from Geismar, Louisiana, averaging five a game, has had a terrific game. No play bigger than that one just now. Troy's got to get a shot up in a hurry. Miles against Kasper Zek. Finds Dean, three on the way. It's an air ball. 